subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. Oh, hello guys, this is Ali Pichan. Welcome to my mathematics class. Let's see the today's topic. Uh, today's topic is problem based on two sets, especially based on the cardinality relation of two intersecting sets. Uh, words, word problems based on given ratio and relation. Okay, so I have taken one question based on this topic. Word problems based on given ratio and relation. How to crack down this type of question with one example? I will tell you, and similarly, you can do uh, the remaining questions based on this topic. Okay, so here we go to read the question. Question is uh, in a group of 95 students, in a group of 95 students, okay, here yeah, 95 students. The ratio of students who like maths and science is 4 is to 5. If 10 of them, 10 of them like both of the subjects, both, okay, intersection, uh, and 15 of them like none of the subjects. Uh, then by drawing a uh, Venn diagram, find the how many people like only mathematics and like only science we have to find out first let's see in terms of the language of the sets uh, what this represents 95 students right or uh, this one is your n of u right total number of students here and here 4 is to 5, right? number, ratio of the students who like maths and science, we can suppose 4x and 5x, and 10 of them like both of the subjects, and this will be your intersection, you can say, N of A, intersection B, but here, math and science, so better, we can take, okay, M intersection science, and 15 of them like none of them, so, we can represent okay like this n of m union s is complement of m union s right and we want to find out the uh, only math we want to find out okay only math okay let's see how to find out okay like only science we want to find out also only science right okay so with the help of venn diagram how can we do right so i'm going to tell you how to start okay what should be written at first right <coughs> solution you write down this solution first of all you will take the way you will slit i mean to your you will represent for sciencing or math by capital letter let m and S denote okay as we know the by definition capital letter represent says <coughs> not cardinal number sometimes this is right M and S denote the number of no number okay only just sets M and S denote the sets of students Who like or mathematics and science respectively. Oh, one more thing we have to suppose for this because here number of students who like maths and science is given in ratio. Uh, so let's write down this way again. You can suppose one more line. A let the number of students who like maths and maths and uh, your science be. 4 is to 5 mean 4x and 5x respectively 
then you will write down the data then we have just the total number of students and of you 95 so I think here comma or in the next line you may write down no problem and of m 4x and of s 5x can like uh, both of the subjects and of m intersection s 10 and 15 none of them and you can write down n of for complement of m union s is equal to 15 15 of them uh, 15 of them like none of the subjects so this way you have to make all right so i don't so think now you have any problem till now each and every line i have made clear as far as possible now now we can make the diagrams representing now representing the above data in or when diagram okay so i wrote falsely here also key points if we need okay we can use these formulas you can uh, see go through this and second i have uh, shown here each and every parts of a uh, uh, pen diagram having two intersecting uh, sets as a subset of the universal set u or uh, this is the formula for only a so what is only a and uh, here in diagram also i have written n of a minus n of a intersection b if you want to find out the only b then we can use formula is equal to n of b minus n of a intersection this portion represents the only b in diagram so from diagram okay it's all clear okay it's all obvious okay these all formula we have extracted or derived from the diagram let's move let's make okay how to make the venn diagram in this question venn diagram plays a very important role of which will give you the solution for this question okay so especially if you are asked to find out the by using venn diagram so better to solve the question by using the venn diagram otherwise okay if nothing is asked then you can use either venn diagram or you can you know, do by using the formula okay let's move let's make the venn diagram and in space so i'm going to erase this part key points so i think you got it uh, I'm going to draw the Venn diagram here see you can see very carefully this is the important part of the question core part you can see uh, this is the rectangular box which represents the universal set and of you or uh, and of you is equal to we have 95 according to the question you can write down and inside the rectangular box we represent uh, two intersecting sets these are the subsets of universal set uh, one represents mathematics and another one represents science so according to this data let's say possible okay intersection let's say complement there is no problem we can write down or uh, inside the rectangular box and outside the circles uh, is a space for complement either you can write on here here here, here. anyway it doesn't matter okay here n of m union is complement is equal to 50 or simply you can write down 50 no problem here 10 10 intersection 10 and uh, this one is uh, n of m we have according to question for x and uh, here n of s 5x or uh, n of s you can write down in detail like this way total is 4x is this 10 then it's gonna be 4x minus 10 and uh, of 5x then it's gonna be 5x this part okay total 5x and uh, 10 is occupied already here 10 is already there then uh, this 
of value of this portion will be 5x minus 10. So from this diagram, I think everything is clear. I don't so think now you will get any problem. If you get any problem, you can tell me. You can, don't hesitate uh, to write down the comment of the questions, right? If you get any problem. So if you don't have also, even then also comment, like and share, okay? Uh, that will definitely uh, gonna boost my morale. Uh, okay, so diagram is complete. Now let's give the answers. Uh, we have to find out the answers of this uh, part. Like only mathematics. Only mathematics is 4x minus 10 from the Venn diagram. Only uh, science is 5x minus 10. Uh, so what firstly we have to find out the value of x so how to find out the value of x okay so let's see we have n of u is 95 according to this diagram n of u with this plus this plus this plus this is equal to n of u so from using Venn diagram that's why okay I'm not using okay any formula just I will write down from Venn diagram from Venn diagram uh, 95 is equal to n of u is equal to 4x minus 10 plus 10 plus this plus this plus this of 5x minus 10 plus 15 is equal to 95 okay 95 or now I do the calculation 95 is equal to 4x plus 5x 9x and cancel and 15 minus 10 plus 5 okay or here I'm getting 9x is equal to 95 minus 5, 90, or you will get x is equal to 10. 90 by 9, mm, which gives you 10. Oh, this is the value of x, okay? Actually, we don't want to find out, but we need, okay, or to find out, but answer we have to give of this question and of this question, okay? So, first part from diagram. Uh, only mathematics okay only mathematics i've written here from venn diagram so it's obvious not to write down here also from venn diagram only mathematics okay see uh, as i told you already okay this is the part for the only mathematics only mathematics is 4x minus 10 and 4 times 10 value of x is 10 minus 10 okay and 40 minus 10 30 only mathematics 30 uh, so here you may write down therefore uh, 30 students it's important to write down in terms of sentence uh, 30 students like only mathematics mathematics second part was the second part like only science like only science means or uh, n of only s is equal to from this Venn diagram we have 5x minus 10 let's put the value of x 5 times 10 minus 10 after plugging value of x we will get here 50 minus 10 you can say 40 so therefore same here write down okay 40 students like only science i think you got how to do this type of question okay uh, <clears throat> now you have no any problem uh, it's very simple okay if you know the trick if you know the method okay if you know the formula if you know the concept okay then nobody can stop you to find the solution of this type of questions okay uh, thank you very much for watching this video if you think okay, it's uh, useful for the students who need to study sets uh, please share to them and uh, like comment don't hesitate okay don't be so miser don't be so mean okay uh, your like comments and uh, so this type of activity definitely gonna boost my moral and uh, that gives me energy to make more and more videos on mathematics okay so once again thank you very much i'll come up with a next video in next time stay connected with my uh, channel thank you very much bye bye